I'm Ewan Davis. From the University of Amsterdam. And is, this, is it on? Oh, yeah. My problem is a little bit similar to Roberto's problem from earlier. Uh, it's to generalize Bregman's theorem or disprove my silly conjecture, whichever ends up being true. But there's a theorem of Bregman which says that in a bipartite graph where you know the degrees of one side, so we call these D1 up to dn, and this is a, a bipartite graph with n vertices in each side, the number of perfect matchings is at most the product of di factorial to the 1 over di. And this is achieved by uh, when the d's are all the same by disjoint unions of complete bipartite graphs. So I'm not so interested in bipartite graphs, but this was extended to general graphs by Kahn and Lovaz, who uh, didn't publish a proof, but they prove it in a 2n vertex graph you, uh, with where we know the whole degree sequence this time. You get the same product, but with a 1 over 2 di here. And based on some work that I've done, this looks a little bit suggestive. Um, I would, so th this, sorry, di factorial. This di factorial is the number of perfect matchings in a k di di. And I would guess that we can actually bound the matching polynomial, which I'll define in a second, with a similar bound. So I want to define a polynomial, z of x, to be the sum of x to the power the size of m, where I sum over all matchings in the graph. So the coefficient of uh, x to the m is just the number of matchings of m edges in G. So I, I'm sort of tempted to generalize this bound and say that z of x for some g should be upper bounded by, uh, here I want to put a term which is the z of a, there's a bit, I have good notation for this, but k di di with this normalizing factor here. Yes. Um, yeah, there's two notions of matching polynomial. This is one of them. Um, and so this is known in the regular case, but actually something slightly stronger is known. Um, if you pick a random matching, you can look at the Gibbs measure which this uh, polynomial gives you, and um, if you pick a random matching with probability of each matching proportional to x to the power of the size of that matching, then the expected size of this matching is related to a derivative of this. It's something like z prime x over z, maybe with another x here. Um, and actually, this is this inequality you can translate to, well, uh, the notation gets a bit difficult here, but um, I, I would conjecture something similar um, for the expected size of the matching. I mean, th this should be an easier problem because it's strictly weaker, so I'll leave, that, leave it at that, I think. 